Since it's already mid-March and test realms are usually at the end of March or early April, I wanted to go ahead and put together a list of some of the things that I want to see from the upcoming test realm. So this is going to be my test realm for spring 2021 expectations and just some things that I kind of just, you know, put together in a notepad and it starts from things that I want to see the most to things that possibly might not even be in the test room they're just kind of you know out there like their ideas right now and i'm not sure if ki is actually working on them but yeah we're gonna go down this list and there's a reason i'm in grizzleheim so we'll get to that too but yeah we're starting off with uh the first one on my list which is the biggest one for me at least and that is the spell audit the spell audit is definitely going to be the biggest thing on this test room i'm guessing because they're planning on changing so many spells like last time when they did a spell audit they went through and they changed all of the high ranking spells all the shadow spells and they did the rank 10s they did rank 9 for sirens i think they even changed king art for a lot of schools so yeah basically all of these spells got changed first like two pages of spells got changed with the last audit and they even changed Leviathan, I think, and Stormlord, for Storm at least. But we have the other spells left. I feel like the high-ranking spells needed more changes than the low-ranking spells, but we'll see what they do. So basically, they're just saying all the other spells that we haven't changed yet could be changed in the upcoming spell audit. So we'll see what happens with all of that. But yeah, that is probably going to be a big thing that is going to change the game a lot with the upcoming test realm. They also said that they're going to be bringing some of the TC spells as real spells in the game, like learnable spells in the game. So I think some of them, they had a, like a big poll of all of them, like which ones people wanted to see. And I think Frost Dragon was in there for ice. They're not, I don't think they're going to do cold iron in those spells because I don't know, that'd be kind of crazy, but they had that one in there for sure. They had like the, like the snowbird. I don't even have that one, which is crazy because that one's like really powerful. Um, there's Thunderbird for Storm. I don't really carry those spells. There's also like Bronze Spider, Rat Magician, just like staple PvP spells that have been TC only and they want to bring them in as real spells. And even though I don't PvP, I'm excited for that because I love getting new spells for my school. And if they brought in a new spell for Storm, even if it's PvP, they're not going to make it PvP only, but you know, PvE players could learn it and use it. If they do that, I might go ahead and try to learn it just on my storm just to have it. And they showed a video on their Twitter page of Thunderbird basically transforming and becoming Stormwing, I think they called it. And what it does is it does initial damage to an enemy, like a single target, and then it puts up Galvanic Field. I mean, that'd be a cool spell to have on my storm. Like, I wouldn't mind having it, but it might be spell elements only. So that's my only concern. Like, they're going to be adding these basically PvP TCs as learnable spells, but they might be slightly difficult to get if they are from Spellments. They did say though that Spellments should be dropping like after this test realm in free to play areas. So if I can just farm a boss in Wizard City then <laughs> and get this eventually, I would do that for a spell that I wanted. So that's something to look forward to and I'm kind of excited for it. We also have the lore spells are going to be changing and uh, potentially getting nerfed, buffed, I have no idea. So for Storm, that would be Queen Calypso, Hammer of Thor. Catch of the Day is not a lore spell. This one is a droppable spell. So those are two of them, but, oh, and Catalan. So we'll see what they do with those. Um, all lore spells could potentially be changed. They already changed the lore master, so I don't know if they're gonna change that one again. But yeah, that is part of the spell audit. So just a lot of things happening and uh, also with the PvP TC spells, I think they're going to be banning the actual TCs uh, from PvP and just having the trainable spells only. So something interesting to look forward to. I don't know, like this is gonna be pretty big, but it doesn't even stop there because yes, we're gonna have the spell audit and you know, I'll be covering that just like I covered it in the other test room when they did it, you know, the high ranking spell audit, but they're also going to be changing up the hit all spells, which I already did a video on that. So if you missed it, go check that out. I'm not gonna talk about it too much here. But this is exciting because it's going to make spells, you know, that we cast hit all way faster. And they're updating way more of these spells to hit all at once than I thought they were. 
Like, they're doing Deer Knight, which was unexpected for me. Tempest, I didn't expect them to do that. Uh, Stormlord's in there too, Frost Giant. So, there's actually a lot of spells, and they might not have even shown all the spells that they're going to be updating to hit all at once. So, yeah, they're doing the ones that take forever, like Raw, La Force Lord, all those. But also just, I think they want to transition into having every single hit all spell be a hit all at once. So if they're going to be doing that, like, I'm excited for it because they're updating Tempest to do that, which is a staple spell for Storm. Same with Storm Lord. And maybe Sirens, I don't know. I mean, I don't think anyone really gets upset that Sirens takes too long because it doesn't really. But yeah, even Bugs. Like, I feel like Bugs is pretty quick. But... Iron Sultan already hits all at once if you split. So, yeah, that is uh, on the radar for this test realm. We've already seen it. That was actually one of the teasers that we got for it already. So I expect more teasers soon, but, yeah, I'm just covering stuff that we've seen so far, kind of things that are out there from Twitter and other places. Another thing that people mentioned in my video of the hit all spells was that Fire Dragon seemed to be remastered a little bit. I didn't really look too closely at it, but if they are going to be remastering the spells to make them look better, then that's awesome because they do have to update the animations a bit to make the spells hit all at once so i guess while they're doing that maybe they're just going to be like remastering the spells you know revamping them to look a little bit better fire dragon definitely needs it i didn't really notice it on any of the other spells like it wasn't obvious to me but we'll just wait until the test drum to see that but if they are going to be doing that making the spells look better then i'm all for that so so far everything i've covered that I, i'm expecting in the next test drum has involved spells so as you can see, spells are going to be a big update in the uh, the next test drum, so look forward to that. But yeah, spells aside, we also have the crit and block, hopefully fixes. Like I'm hoping that they can fix crit and block because as of right now, I just feel like crit and block are still confusing for players. You know, we don't really know if we're going to crit because the chance is just like, I think it's 90, 95%. At max level so it's just kind of like sometimes you don't create and you're like oh that's unfortunate and the block animation just doesn't exist i don't even remember the last time i saw a block animation i think it was probably in pvp because i think the block animation works in pvp but it does not work anywhere in pve and i've done a decent amount of pve since caramel came out and i've never seen the block animation so the block animation is definitely broken it's definitely broken for our players and it's also broken for mobs because I haven't even seen a mob block at all. Like the mobs will block because you can see you do less damage to them, but there's no animation for that. So I don't know why this has been put off for so long and I'm really hoping that they can actually fix that. Maybe it's just a difficult bug to fix, but yeah, block is definitely, I mean, it's working, but just like not visually. And I hope they bring that back with this test realm. Um, we'll see what they do with crit if they change it more. I hope they don't like change it anymore, but yeah, I don't know. It just kind of, for now, we've gotten used to it by just stacking damage and not really going for any block, going for, I don't know, a decent amount of crit. So I feel like my stats now are pretty good. Like, I don't mind having low pierce, high damage, but that's just how PvE is. So we'll see if they can actually bring any crit and block fixes. But the other thing to look out for is they could be doing another stat rebalance even though I feel like crit and block aren't even there yet, they could be doing another stat rebalance on uh, resist and maybe even damage. I don't really want them to change damage for PvE because I think it's fine. Yeah, maybe they could scale it down because, you know, having 191 damage is a lot. And I know there's other sets for schools like fire that can get over 200. I don't know if they're trying to steer away from the percentage stat for damage. But if they do, then that's going to change it up a lot. And I know they're going to try to move away from percent resist. So we'll see how that changes. But yeah, that is just something to look out for. I know resist is for sure up there. I'm not sure about damage. We'll have to see. But those are two things that maybe will make it their way into this test drum. I think so. So if you don't follow the Wiz Devs Twitter or keep any tabs on it, then you might have missed this one. But they have tweeted out asking for advice on key bosses in Grizzle Hunt. And they asked people what bosses you would want to see as a key boss. So they're going to be doing wood, stone, and gold key bosses in Grizzleheim potentially for the upcoming test drum. So I was looking around for a spot that, you know, they could just have a key boss. And I don't know if this cave over here is used for any side quests or whatever. If it's not, then it could be used for the key boss because they can just put the sigil here and uh, yeah, that'll be it. So 
I don't know if that cave is used for anything, but if not, then it's probably going to be used for the upcoming key boss. I mean, they could pick any place in Grizzleheim. I'm just in Saverston Pass. If they put one here, it'd be pretty close to where the mobs actually walk in front of you. I feel like that's the thing in, in Grizzleheim a lot. Like, if you were to walk out of this sigil, that guy's pretty close. Like, <laughs> like the mob path that they walk is really close to sigils. And I feel like it's, it's just like that in Grizzleheim. Like, I don't want to walk in front of this guy. <laughs> But because when you're farming for gold, sometimes and you just walk forward a little bit out of the sigil, you could just get pulled. That happens a lot. So yeah, that's just how Grizzleheim is kind of laid out. But yeah, potential for key bosses around here. I'm sure they'll add three new ones, so we can look forward to that. Another thing that I just forgot that they did hint at, but it wasn't like talked about. They just kind of showed it was a new icon that was appearing in like the top right. Of the screen when they shared the Stormwing video and people were guessing as to what that could be it could potentially be guilds which I already talked about in a previous video for things that I want to see so if they're actually rolling out guilds in the next update that'd be big so as a wrap up here the other thing that I don't really feel like is going to be in this update but it's probably going to be in some other update this year and that is the Cyclops and Firecat Alley revamp they could do each one separately in a different update. Maybe we'll see one of the streets in the spring update and then the other street later in like the summer update or something. But there is going to be a revamp uh, this year for those two. Vamea already said that the theme of this year for updates, at least probably, you know, spring and summer updates is revamp. So it makes sense that they would update Cyclops and Firecat. So I would expect both of those to be updated this year sometime. It'd be cool if they did one of them in the spring update. Maybe both. I don't know. Who knows what they're working on. But yeah, that is something to potentially look out for. And I think it'd be really interesting to see like how they do that. And by revamp, I mean the questline revamp. Like they did in Triton. So that is just something they could do. We'll see. But uh, yeah, just throwing that out there at the end here. So I'm really excited for the, uh, the spell changes. Because spell changes are always so interesting. I feel like last time with the spell changes... I feel like it's shocking at first to see your favorite spells get nerfed and changed and like, you know, the shadow spells that we use all the time getting nerfed and no longer removing blades like with bugs, but you eventually get used to it. I like giving feedback initially on there's changes like when Rain of Fire was nerfed to not even be Rain of Fire anymore. Like I complained a lot about that and they got it fixed. So it's good to give feedback and I'm excited to give feedback for the new spell changes just, you know, from a PVE perspective, just like how I feel like they're going to affect the game. So I will be covering uh, all those things when it happens. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little bit longer one, but there was a lot of things that I wanted to uh, cover and things that I'm looking forward to. So hope you guys are looking forward to it as well. But if you're excited for Test Realm, please leave a like on this video. Uh, definitely be subscribed, turn on post notifications so you know when I post the first Test Realm video, whenever that's gonna be. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend and I'll see you all next time.